Okay, so here's part two showing you how Buy Me A Coffee works. I said I'd compare it to Patreon. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that because I'm no expert on Patreon, except that it was the established platform that I was aware of for crowdfunding or receiving payments as a creator. Um, I am a member of Peter Millard's Patreon, 10 Minute Workshop, so I know what his is like, and I think this is fairly typical, um, very well presented. It gives you a lot of tools to make a very professional looking site. Um, <clears throat> and this is what you see on Patreon. And uh, quite a lot of tools actually, quite a lot of tools on Patreon. It is more fully featured than buy me a coffee, I'll be honest. Um, but this principle where there's certain things you can see and some things that are locked as a member. So if I log in, I'd be able to see those things. So buy me a coffee, similar, but it's being being built, um, developed all the time, and started off, I think, as a simpler concept, but with some things that Patreon doesn't have. So it has pounds currency, UK currency. It also has a mailing list type function, a bit like MailChimp, um, which I understand to be a little bit more fully featured than Patreon but I may be wrong, to be honest with you. Why did I choose it over Patreon? Well, one big reason was I was concerned about Patreon's culture in limiting free speech and certain things that had happened where people's accounts were closed just based on their particular views on things. So I wasn't too keen to sign up with that company. And I just had the sense of I would just be a number. Uh, Buy Me A Coffee was a startup it's, I think, co-funded by Stripe, um, which also has a very, very good approach to, um, to their customers, treating people like individuals. And I just had a good feel about it, and I've not regretted it since. So I'm sorry, I'm darting about here. So this is, if you just go to buymeacoffee.com, this is what you'll see if you're not logged in. And you can explore creators. You can, you can tap different hashtags or type in something like woodwork or whatever. Um, I'm just going to go straight to mine because I know it and I can show it you. So you could find a creator like this and this is what you would see if you're not logged in. So um, I really must update that photo, but the creator can have a photo, a little bio, and right here at the top is either the membership option with everything you get as a member, or support, which is the original just like a tip is buy a coffee, buy three coffees, whatever. You can leave a little message. You can choose to make it private, so only, only the creator sees it. And you hit support and you can pay quite easily with PayPal or just using a card. Um, and then down the bottom of the page you see um, comments people have made, etc. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to check if those aren't private because it seems a bit unfair to uh, share them if they're private, doesn't it? So, right, those those weren't private comments, but some people um, have commented privately. So, let's see now. So if you're not logged in, this is what you'll see, and then you see the, the posts tab, so you can just get a feel if you're sort of interested in a creator but you're not sure what they're putting out there, you can have a little browse and certain things are locked, so you could only see it if you remember. Um, certain things are public, so as a creator I can publish a post or share a video and I can choose to make it public, so I have some content out there which I just think might have wider interest or be helpful, um, or I just want to make it available, and that can just be set to public as I post it. Now, one of the downsides of buy me, a, buy me a Coffee at the moment is it is a little less visually appealing as you browse the post. So if we go back to Peter's um, Patreon, you see how each post is quite visual. Um, and it, it sort of tempts you, doesn't it, with an image that's, that's fuzzy. Or if the post is visible, you see... The image or the video as the big thumbnail. That's something that Buy Me A Coffee are working on and plan to release um, soon. 
just making it all look a bit better. So the membership tab, I've got to be honest, um, seems to be very similar. Seems to be very, very similar to the posts one, except I suppose it only shows you. Well, it only comes up if you remember for one thing. Now the other thing is, I've been able to post at the top here all of the things that my members get by default. Now these things appear in a sort of welcome message and a welcome email, but we we realised a problem where. There was a lot of content available, but people were forgetting or not quite aware of it. So if you go to the membership tab, you can go straight to those links that were kind of getting lost by people. So I mean, these are these are the blueprints I mentioned in the previous video. That's a PDF download, so it gives you access to um, a file which you can download, print, and keep. Um, there's other files like that dug away in old posts. That's just still loading there, I think. So um, I will, I'll come and I'm flicking through the the financials. I'm sure you're interested. I will show that. So other things at the top. So another another thing that's provided with membership is my Hayfully Lighting crib sheet. This actually is given as a reward for a coffee as well. So that's something you can do on Buy Me a Coffee. If someone tips you with a coffee, you can give them um, something in return as well. So this is a a thing that's due for another update, which I I give people to guide them through using the Hayfully Lux lighting system. And uh, then there's video series. So we've got two video series going on. Um, the way that I upload these is I put them on my YouTube channel, but as unlisted videos. So they're not publicly searchable, but if you have the direct link, you can you can go to it. And so I've created a playlist, again, only accessible via Buy Me A Coffee if you're logged in as a member. And this is where I'm doing the whole process of setting up the workshop from when it was just a shell to um, starting to build racking and benches, etc. So that's ongoing. That's one of the series. And the other series is, um, which has been going on for longer, actually, but isn't quite finished yet. It was the building of this, um, this project. I called it Masterclass. I then renamed it as a fitted furniture apprenticeship and this is something that I may in future package up as a, a separate paid download because one issue I'm finding with the model is that you put more and more content on there and then the members that are brand new suddenly have access to all of it and could just grab it save the links and cancel their membership which I'm aware of and is okay that's allowable um, and I hope that my ongoing content would keep people um, but there's a, there just seems to be a bit of unfairness in that where people have been paying month on month to slowly access this and it's all there for the new members so I'm toying with packaging things up as a separate paid access but with a member discount and that's something you can do through the shop feature so on some of my old videos on YouTube I've mentioned SketchUp components or downloadable plans and I've then done a direct link from the video description to that thing. So most of these actually, people that are buying these, they're mostly links from a video. I don't think many people go to my Buy Me Coffee, stumble across the shop and then go buying these things because they wouldn't know much about them. They're explained in videos. Um, but similar, similar to just doing a coffee tip or paying for membership, if if you were looking at this, you could click on that and access this download. Um, and as a creator, the way it works is you, you can just host these files on Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox, anywhere where you can get a direct web link to a file and you can set the sharing settings in that, that cloud file system. So for any given file, you can say, I want this to be available to anybody who has the direct link. Once you've done that, you just paste that link into your shop item, and it's as simple as that. So, it's a, it's it's a passive income stream, um, at least in terms of things like that, where people can find it, download it, and you don't have to be involved. Of course, the membership is not passive because you're only going to keep your members if you keep giving them content that they value. So, I'm at um, over 400 members now, at five pound a month. Uh, some of those memberships are gifted so when people are featured on my podcast I will 
gift them a membership in return. That's how it works. Um, some of those members are locked into a lower rate when I started out. And some of them have chosen to pay yearly at a discount. But either way, um, it's given me around about two grand income at the moment, which is great. And thank you very much for all my members. This is helping me to get through this period of uh, spending a lot of money, a lot of loan money on my workshop. So honestly, I don't know how other people build a business like this. Perhaps they're better at making a profit in advance, but we have just had to spend our way to growth. Um, so having the buy me a coffee income, this is part of my business model really, that I share this process, which is very financially risky for me. Uh, you get an insight into it and I get, I get a bit more financial security to help see me through this period of investment. So this is, this is my back-end dashboard. I'm not going to click on uh, dashboard or supporters because it will show you the names and emails of supporters. But if you are a creator, you can see all your supporters' names. You can find their emails. You can search them and you can send an email just direct to them, not as a post. Um, if you want to write a post, you go to posts here and you could go back and edit ones that uh, you've done before. If you write a post, it's quite simple, quite an easy, clean looking editor. And if you were to paste into here a YouTube link, it would automatically come up as an embedded looking video. You can also put images in, uh, cross links, things like that. And then you can choose whether everybody can see it or just members, which also includes them getting it emailed to them or all supporters, which means members and anybody who has done a one-off coffee payment. So they remain in your, they remain accessible in your mailing list unless they choose to unsubscribe. So every email will include an unsubscribe link. There's various other settings here. Uh, there's the shop. So this is where you can add a shop item. It's all really quite easy to use once you get used to it. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so you can create a direct link. So this is the link to just like a little mini web page where that thing will be downloadable. And so you could sort of reshare it somewhere else. If you go to edit it, there's, there's various settings on it. You can set member discounts as well for shop items, which is something I plan to do more of in future. So your general settings. Um, so I can just type in here the message that will be presented to people when they buy me a coffee. I can type in my search term. So if someone lands on buy me a coffee and looks for, you know, they don't know about me, they maybe want to look for fitted furniture on the off chance there's a creator doing that and they might find me that way. And various other settings here as well. So of course there are there are fees to using it. There's um, <clears throat> let me see. I did just write this down the other day. So there's a five percent fee, five percent flat fee of any payment received, which goes to buy me a coffee. And the uh, the fees for PayPal and Stripe. Now I've got the American ones. It's two point nine percent plus thirty cents per transaction. It's a bit different. In Britain but it's it's a structure along those lines so I hope that's a helpful overview I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this in a few months time the page will look different because this is one of the great things about buy me a coffee is they're constantly updating and improving um, just while I'm here actually by the way the support account at the top is members plus anybody who's ever bought a coffee so it's not that's not all paid uh, monthly members. So yes, on the on the subject of continuous improvement. Oh, here we go. Create a community. So as a creator, you have access to this community where you can you can give feedback, and they're very responsive to feedback. In fact, they've implemented a lot of things that I have said. I'd love to see this, and they've gone on and and done it. They have a place where you can um, request certain features, and they can be upvoted by other creators and uh, then they get prioritized. So I do find them a very responsive 
company and I've spoken to the founder on more than one occasion and he's always been very helpful, seems to really care about what they do and you do feel like you're part of a nice little growing startup with good values. So I, I hope that was helpful, fairly impromptu, unscripted introduction to buy me a coffee. I welcome your comments and thoughts on it below and if anybody's got any other um, information about this compared to Patreon pros and cons, please feel free to share it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.